Here we have the Alaris PC infusion pump cal verification. The top is the equipment identification. First is the facility name, Hospital XYZ. The inspecting agency, which is the biomedical department. The ECN or equipment control number, index number or asset tag, followed by the room number. This is the device's manufacturer and serial number, followed by the infusion device tester model number and serial number. Below we have some qualitative testing that are pass or fail. Here we will test the air in line, the KVO or keep vein open, the patient side occlusion test, fluid side occlusion test, the keypad test, any configuration setups, date time change, bolus dose, nurse call, etc. Let's begin with the quantitative testing. The first test is the flow or rate test, which we will measure at a low, a medium, and a high rate. Basically, flow is the rate or speed in which fluid, IV fluid, flows within a given amount of time. As you can see, we measure this in milliliters per hour, which is graphed here on a chart. Next is the occlusion test. Occlusion is the absence or the restriction of fluid flow. So when the IV line is occluded and the fluid flow ceases, the absence of drops falling into the drip chamber causes the IV pump to alarm. Why is this important? With any occlusion or obstruction, the patient cannot receive his or her prescribed medication. Undetected occlusions can occur and have in the past created hospital mishaps, which could have been prevented This is measured in pounds per square inch, PSI, or millimeters of mercury, MMHG. The conversion ratio is one millimeter of mercury equals 0 0.019334 PSI. You will also hear terms such as upstream and downstream occlusion. Upstream occlusion, or the fluid side occlusion, it's an obstruction between the stream of the origin or the IV bag to the IV pump. Here is our infusion pump. And from the top followed up to the bag is our upstream occlusion or fluid side occlusion. Downstream occlusion, or the patient side occlusion, is the obstruction in the direction between the pump to the patient being administered the medication. Here is our infusion pump. This is our patient side occlusion, following it down and into the patient. Moving along. The volume test. Volume is the amount of fluid flow or the volume to be infused or VTBI 
which is measured in milliliters. Here you will see we have a range starting from 10 all the way up to 200 milliliters to be infused, which we measure with the infusion tester. Finally, we complete the form by having the technician sign here.